So uh, we've been working clinically on BH3 mimetics uh, for a long time. Uh, obviously venetoclax has been a major focus of our clinical work. Uh, venetoclax is a drug which targets uh, one of the five pro-survival members uh, called BCL2. And so it's been of major interest as to whether new BH3 mimetics targeting other pro-survival members may also have relevance for acute myeloid leukemia. Another very important uh, pro-survival member is called MCL1, and previous work from our institution has suggested that targeting venetoclax and also MCL1 simultaneously in gene targeting models is extremely effective uh, for acute myeloid leukemia. The possibility of targeting MCL1 uh, directly has come about with the development of small molecules which are able to directly target MCL1 and there are now in fact four um, molecules which have been uh, published um, all, all last year. So these are from Servier, um, Amgen, um, AstraZeneca and also Vanderbilt University. So we've uh, published uh, work showing that the combination of BCL2 inhibitors such as venetoclax and MCL1 inhibitors uh, from either Servier or Amgen are incredibly potent uh, for acute myeloid leukemia. And furthermore, there seems to be a good therapeutic index over killing leukemic cells over normal cells. And so our, our hope is that uh, the combination of these two BH3 mimetics may have traction, uh, again, in patients with acute myeloid leukemia, uh, and particularly patients who may not respond so well to uh, chemotherapy or who may become uh, resistant to uh, venetoclax plus low-dose chemotherapy in the frontline setting. Yes, yeah, so the uh, capacity to combine BCL2 inhibitors and MCL1 inhibitors, um, these, uh, this study has already uh, commenced um, and uh, our hospital was the, the first hospital in the world to treat uh, uh, a patient uh, with these two drugs in combination. Uh, there's no results formally uh, as yet. Um, and also there are other companies looking at uh, these combinations uh, as well in the clinic and these studies are expected to start sometime in 2019.